Alright, it's time to do the Mithril time. Come on down, we have the Death Star. So unfortunately, Mario's voice can't- Sorry, unfortunately, the Mario voice can't make it anymore. Right. She's retiring. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, I must retire from Let's Playing. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's like- uh, uh, serious, no, but- <laughs> But yeah, that, that's like the one, the one thing that happened between sessions. And, uh, yeah, the- it's, it's gonna feel weird to see uh, Charles, like, not voice these characters anymore, because, like, we've grown to know them, like, this way for so many years. Yeah. Oh. For complete reference, yeah, uh, the, like, two or three days ago, I think it was, uh, Charles Martinet announced, uh, announced that he is retiring from playing Mario. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, um, uh, oh boy. Yeah, I mean, it... it's like we, I know, like people thought, like people thought something was off when the Wonder trailer came out. Right. Yeah. Everyone was like saying that like um, Mario sounded different. Is it me or does Mario, is it me or does Mario sound different? Yeah. And then there was yeah, like Wario. I mean, he off. And then there was like Wario in the WarioWare trailer. Um, yeah. I, like, yeah. I always just got the impression that they were just recording new voice lines after a long time. It, but it, yeah. Right. Because yeah, like. <laughs> Games using reusing their voice lines. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but no, they're just uh, getting getting new people to voice them entirely. Which it was going to happen eventually, but it's just something about it just feels wrong. <laughs> uh, it's like you ex you hear them hear these characters a certain way for so long that anything different just uh, feels weird. Like outside of like. <laughs> For the game specifically, like other media, like the movie and stuff like that, um, I feel more. I I feel less weird about it because it's a different media and it's like not as it. You don't expect a specific voice as much with that, but right. like you know, I don't know. Like the, it's gonna be weird to adjust to. Is the point? Where's that? Uh... It's all something from like poorly aged things or something. Right. Oh yeah, where like where like it was like an old an article Mar where Charles Martin said, said like he'd rather voice more he we he more to until the day he dies. Man. Yeah. I'm like yeah, they probably now. Mm. Yeah. Cause I mean like I think like the full article said unless I'm unable to do it anymore then I'll keep doing it. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, and I mean, in his defense, he's like almost oh, seventy years old. Ah, you were, <laughs> you were so close. But yeah, it, yeah. In Charles's defense, he's gonna be turning sixty-eight this year. Yeah. I, cause yeah, I, I, I think like I, I think like he's he's had a good run. Yeah. Like and he's like, been doing this for, he's been doing this for like thirty years. Yeah, he's been doing this for like thirty years. But considering how old he is, I'm pretty sure he just wants to like just. Live, live, live out his life. Live out the rest of his days in retirement. Because I, I, and I, I don't even like. I've even like seen his Twitter and some of his posts. The dude is literally just out there living his best life. Yeah. Even I, when he's not watching Mario. I mean, the the one thing that I that kind of kind of makes me choke up a little bit is like his um he was he played the like the Mario and Luigi's like. Uh, dad. dad in the in the movie yeah. and one of his, yeah. and his like yeah, yeah his, one of his last lines was like that's my boys it's like that yeah. kind of that kind of kills me a little bit <laughs> yeah no yeah no yeah now that we know that like the movie's like the last nintendo related thing that he's probably going to be involved with not counting the luigi not counting the luigi's mansion dark moon port yeah it kinda, it, that line hits different much differently now yeah i wonder if I wonder if like how I wonder if like this was like planned like a while ago. Probably, it probably was. Considering like the gap, the, the gap in like big Mario releases as well. Uh, like, I imagine like this is this is stuff that was like discussed behind closed doors for years. Mm. So I realized I was Green Star uh, Frey. Uh, I mean, you missed one. Oh, I see it. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Okay. You gotta get up on that wall. Go like this. No. I'm gonna run up there. That's pretty cool. 
That's also pretty. Oh, I wonder if we could have just used a shortcut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if this was Mario 64, that would have been a red coin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll say this. I. There are some cool shortcuts you, you can do in the Galaxy games. It's not. It's, it's obviously not as flexible as, like, the sandbox style Mario games, but, you know, there's there's uh, ways you can do, like, fun parkour stuff to uh, cut down on time. Mm hmm. Alright, um. Sorry, I'm a little out of it tonight. <laughs> yeah. Just a little. Choices, uh. So, um, so yeah, oh, so I don't know if folks is that uh, we're running out of, we're completely running out of things to talk about. Yeah, like, I, outside of the, the uh, Charles Martin A thing, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk is, uh, so, yeah, yeah, so, no, Cyberfunk. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is out, but none of us have played it yet, so can't really say anything about it. Wait, what is that? Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Jet, uh, not, yeah. Literally not Jet Set Radio. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh. not Jet Set Radio 3. <laughs> is that like... How is that game? I, I haven't I haven't played it, so I wouldn't know. Okay. Well, I hope, it, I hope it turns out good, because I know people have been wanting a Jet Set Radio type game for years. Yeah. I never played any of those. I, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably wait for the game to at least go on sale because right now it's like fifty two dollars before tax. Let me so out. Actually, okay. yeah, I, I thought you I thought you were actually trying to abuse the momentum there. No, I was just trying to get out. <laughs> no, it's intentional. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Right. Okay, I believe you. Ah, uh, yeah. Um. Oh, it's just up there. Yeah, it's right. It's just right there. Cool. I do. I, I, oh, this is fine. <laughs> I, I do think. I feel like. I feel like I want to say that like, uh, Galaxy Two overall is more creative with the gravity gimmicks. Like, I feel like it. It doesn't flaunt it as much, like, I feel like Galaxy 1 did it more often, but I feel like the gravity gimmicks that are in Galaxy 2 are just... I feel like they just do more with it. It's been a while since they played Galaxy 1 or, 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 or we did our Let's Play even. I mean, it was like last year. I think. Yeah. It, that sounds right. And Xavier wasn't even there for that. <laughs> yeah. Amazing mission over there. Yes. <laughs> we dropped out. Wait, someone die? Xavier died. Oh, this is this is gonna be a good session. Uh, Harry, quickly make your controller freak out. I I, I can't force it. It just happens. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Hey, loosen loosen the nunchuck. We. <laughs> How's your days been? Um, a little painful. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I had to get up. Nice. I had to go travel out of town so my brother could go to a go to a go to a doctor. Mm. And, and he, um. What? Was, I'm, uh, I have a little bit of mouth pain, a little bit, and my, uh, what's it called? And, uh, a, a little bit of a headache. Mm -hmm. The doctor's, the office had The Princess Diaries 2 playing on TV. Like, I hadn't seen the movie in 15 years. Holds up. Oh. I've never seen that. Hey, Xavier, welcome back to the living. I have no idea what's going on with my computer. I'm just gonna hard reset it. Ah, oh, th th this is like the this is gonna be the the quality quality session where <laughs> nothing gets discussed and the Xavier's computer keeps dying on itself. You know, maybe it's the fact that I have a 
thumbnail of a Sonic stage recreation from Fortnite in the Discord chat. No, you don't get context for that. But um, <laughs> this galaxy looks like a Sonic stage, like aesthetically. I can kind of see it. Also, this green star is hilarious. Why? No! <laughs> it's right. Can you ah, just it's in the lava. <laughs> it's literally... Can you just long jump off? Can you just long jump that way? No, you, 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 there's a barrier. You can't jump jump off this thing. I'm not trying to angle it. I'm just going. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you literally had to. Mario. You literally just had to go straight down, like. Will Mario succeed, or will he make fried chicken again? Why is it? Oh my god. Okay. Hold it. You're gonna go over at this point. Oh, we're about to see the game over screen, everybody. Okay, I'm touching the floor with this. I, I'm, I'm trying to keep it straight. There we go. Aw, oh, okay. man, we were so close. <laughs> oh, we... yeah, we didn't grab our extra lives. I didn't see the mail toad, like, sh the, have its pop up. I might be no. blind. Well, whatever it is, you're silly. Time to go gambling. You know, I'm gonna attempt fate. In the flooded do, level? Oh. Do, do, just because you really want to see the game over screen. I, I never <laughs> said that. I'm just saying, are we gonna see the game over screen? No, I mean, I'm, I'm being... Like... Yeah. Silly. I'm being half serious when I say that. I guess if uh, you squint enough, like, this could be, like, a part of Egg Fleet or something. Just in lava. Yeah, you can't jump off. Alright, so where's this next one? Uh, I think well, it's, like... About to find out. I think it's, like, near the end. Well, we'll find out. Well, I'm a, I'm a tad sleepy, so the commentary is going to be on point tonight. Yeah. Alright, we got one life. Yep. No game overs for today. Apparently. Still young. Oh! Hey, we're alive! Wait, there, there, there are bats in this level? Yeah, apparently. Harry, we're alive! Yeah! Somehow. Okay, I think it's in this room somewhere. Somewhere. Uh... Maybe... Maybe... No... Wait... I think we passed it. Well, you better die. Hi, friend! Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that works. That made sense. Okay, where Did is Xavier it? die again? No, I'm still here. Yes, Crabby I'm... died. Oh my god, this is a disaster. I wonder why it'll be my. Oh no, Jason died. I joking. Okay, I was gonna say I'm. I'm... I I I I thought you did that on purpose. <laughs> okay, where is this thing? And now Harry's internet will die. Oh, don't even joke about that. Uh, I'm gonna jump that with a threat. <laughs> it, it did that the other. It, it did that the other day. <laughs> I'm going to take a well a gamble. Is it this? It no. Bye, Cruel World! Well, at least Mario's reviving every time. Yep. I think this is what ReZero was about. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong! <laughs> Just with less flying on a bird. And less blood. Yeah. Significantly uh, less blood. <laughs> Well, for, for Mario compared to ReZero, yeah. Mario has blood? 
the, when Mario, Mario becomes like, um, uh, uh, what is it? The, what's the term when like, uh, an IP is like, out for like, well like, 80, 100? Public domain? Public domain, Public yeah. Domain. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, like, that someone's gonna make some edgy Mario movie where like, it's all bloody and stuff. I mean, like it, it, it definitely works for Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah. So that bo I mean, have you seen that box office? Nope. I... No, no, but I, I imagine it's terrible. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. You know what? I dare you, Xavier. Right. Look it up. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. You know, I will. <laughs> uh. What? So, I'll tell you this. It, it definitely made a profit. Mario, what are you doing? All right, let's see. All right. Hey, let's go gambling. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be like, it got two dollars. I mean, the budget was less than a million. Mm. All right, let's see. <laughs> Oh, go for it. Okay, its budget was actually less than a hundred thousand dollars. Oh my god. And how, and how much did it make? 5.2 million. Alright, stop doing that. Please. Uh, it, so it, okay, I that is definitely not what I expected. Okay, that's, <laughs> that, that, that is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, consider you yeah, consider I told you guys about it, buddy. Yeah, I'll do it one more one more time because that was that was abysmal. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I I I thought it would have I thought it would flop. Yeah. No, no. Of course, it's one of it's one of those um. Here, it's it's obviously one of those bits where like people are just I don't curiosity alone probably sparked it. Obviously did it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, I can definitely see that. Like Winnie the Pooh, like as like a horror movie, like. Like was it like, sl like slasher horror, or whatever you call it? Like, yeah, yeah. Like people are gonna want to see that. Just, just how, how, just because of how absurd that concept is. Yeah, yeah. it's so bad. It's like, what is this gonna be? Yeah. <laughs> I, like I mean, like I mean, I know, I know that there is a horror film about a sentient car tire that kills people, and I want to see it just because it sounds hilarious. Oh, I think <laughs> I've seen that actually. God. That's like the. No, uh... you, know, you know what it was? You know, no, I didn't see it. You know what it was? I saw. I, there was an episode. <laughs> there was an episode of the of. Uh, I almost said angry video game nerd. There was an episode <laughs> of Nostalgia Critic that does it. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> th this th this gives the uh, what is it? Energy of, uh, what is it? The I isekai where like, it, where like the guy turns into a vending machine or whatever. Oh, oh I, I, I was thinking of that. Oh, wait, I have the first manga right over here. Wait, you actually have it? My sister found it for me. My sister found it and figured it would be something I would, I'd like to look at. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, like someone, or like someone just gets reincarnated as a vending machine. <laughs> Apparently. I, I don't know if it's like... I, it's, I, it's, as, it's, it's as absurd as it sounds. How, how do you even make a story out of that? Like, what? You'd be surprised. <laughs> I guess, but like, what? <laughs> yes, it's stupid. Like, the guy can't even talk. <laughs> I mean, like he's literally giving pre-recorded messages to speak. Like that sounds like, um, like he's basically pulling. A, he's pulling. He's literally pulling a bumblebee. <laughs> like I, I just imagine like a, a couple of writers were just like chilling and just one of, and they were just like I don't know drinking at a bar and one of them drunk just like, oh yeah, I bet you can't make an anime based on someone who turns into a vending machine is like, all right, bet. <laughs> Have you seen this industry? Yeah. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Okay, I know I know about that one. I, I... <laughs> oh, well, what, no, um, what, what was the, uh, like, the, the smartphone one? Oh, it never oh. with my smartphone. Yeah. Why? Why is that? Like, why is that still getting new seasons? I don't know. Oh, here it is. Reborn as a vending machine. Now I wander the dungeon. That's what it's called. <laughs> oh god. It would. 
Ay, 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 ay. I, like, cause like, I, I, like, I, I, I actually kinda like, I, I actually kinda like it in that with my smartphone, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest. I mean, for, oh, that didn't work. Uh, as far as I know, yeah. like, the, yeah, it, it, it could be a really good show. It's just like, oh, I'm really all the way back here, okay. Uh. It's just like the, it's just like the concept where like your, where like your, yeah. or like your, your, your smartphone basically just becomes, and not basically just becomes, for all intents and purposes, a crafting table. Because <laughs> <laughs> like you can cast, you, you uses it to enhance his spells. He can use it to search for things, you know, like you would with any other smartphone. But he, he obviously can't make phone calls, except to God. <laughs> okay, seems legit. Yeah, because, like, literally, like, the whole reason why this happens, like, the series actually starts with him just ha casually having tea in heaven with God, and God's like, alright, so, I ac okay, so, I accidentally threw, I accidentally killed you, threw some <laughs> lightning bolts at you, it was a mistake, but I'm gonna, so, but here's what, so here's the rundown, I'm just gonna reincarnate you, can you reincarnate you in a fantasy world, and give you whatever you want, just, you know, as a way to make up for you, to make up for it. <laughs> nice, okay. I still think... Uh, Tanya, 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 Tanya the Evil is a pretty good one. <laughs> That's she, yeah. Like, you know, deliberately like a bastard and all that, like and, like got <laughs> like about to, about to get run over by a by a train and God's basically just it, it doing this suit to punish him. <laughs> yeah, Tanya the Evil. I knew, I know know about that because of Isekai Quartet. Oh, uh, uh, Tanya is like is like deliciously evil. Yeah. That's like the you little the girl character, right? Be... What? It, it, Tanya's like the little girl character, right? Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, it's also funny because it's also funny because ends up she's voiced by Nano. Oh. Very obvious. How is is, is that is that show like any good? Tanya? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I saw a couple of I um, I I saw a couple of it when I had my my Crunchyroll sub. It's actually pretty decent. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the art style. I, will, like... I, will, I was telling a friend about it. I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to root for her or not. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds that kind right. of thing. Yeah. No, I get that. <laughs> but it's like it's just so fun. I guess Although, so. even in a even though it's a war setting. Yeah. I I do I I can I guess I can appreciate Isekai's for thinking outside the box because you have so many of them now that like. Having... You gotta do a lot that you can stand out. Yeah. <laughs> like, like um, what's it called? Well, kind of super. It's kind of like a parody of it in yeah, a way, isn't kind it? Kind of super is yeah. a complete parody. Like you're not supposed to take that seriously. Yeah, because I mean, like, even like, cause, like, cause, like, not to mention, like, it even make, like, cause, um, Aqua even makes fun of how, like, the main guy dies, like, where, like, he tried, well, like, I, I think, like, he, he actually, he tried to save a girl from getting run over by a tractor, but it's a tractor, they move slowly, he died, he died of a heart attack, basically, he died of a heart attack, the shock got to him, yeah. and Aqua was basically just wait, laughing, wait, was, wait, was this Kazuma? <gasps> yeah, Kazuma, yeah. Okay, it's right, though. Uh, <laughs> I like. Well, uh, I... Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> like, and of course, like, and then of course, uh, and then of course, it's like, it's like, fine, I'll, I'll, like, I'll, I'll let you take anything you oh, want in this it. new world. Okay. It's like, okay, it's like, okay, I'll take you. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, wait, eh, 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 <laughs> no, I, 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 I've, seen, I've seen a little bit of, um, uh, I just kind of it's been a while since I've seen it. Yeah, like, I don't that Aqua just immediately gets replaced by some by another goddess. Okay, there we go. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I like the um, uh, Mega Mean uh, spinoff because that like the last couple of episodes, like you you kind of just see Aqua and um, Kazuma like just in the background somewhere, <laughs> but they're like just barely out of view. <laughs> <laughs> so, like every time the, the camera's about to like show their face, it just cuts to Mega Man again. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. 
I was actually looking for wikis the other day, and just like I'm not sure if I should say this because I don't know how. Because like I I don't know because it's actually kind of spoilery. <laughs> uh, what what were you, uh what? Um, uh, about uh, about a few characters' relationships. Um, w uh, well, what what series is are you talking about? Konosuba. <laughs> Konosuba. Um. Well, I haven't heard anything about that, but... Do you care? Not particularly. Alright, because the wiki said that Kazuma and Megamine are dating. Oh, okay. I heard something about that, um... Wait, really? Because I actually said, like, actually said, like, significant other or girlfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend or something <laughs> like that. I'm like, huh? I can't say I'm that surprised, because it's kind of... Well, I mean... They... I mean, cause like, I, I, I don't, there's like zero, ch I, I see zero relationship for Kazuma and Aqua, but, nah, but like, nah. But it's yeah. just like, it's just surprising to actually see it, had, it like, know that that actually happened. I'm yeah, like, I, huh? I, I saw, like, I heard something about that and I looked into it, I remember, and it's like, so it, it, it's to do, it's, um, the movie? The, no, not, well, um, apparently there's like a, a manga spinoff about it. I, I don't know specifics, but, oh. um, yeah, apparently it's a thing. Uh, I don't know much <laughs> beyond that, but... I mean, that's still kind of... Like, I heard about them, like, oh, that's actually kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I me Megamine out of all of them made the most sense, because, like, darkness is darkness, and Aqua is like, there's no there's no way. Aqua is Aqua. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, it's kind of just... No, no None of the other girls made sense. <laughs> The closest would be, be the clo ca ca uh, darkness would be would, would only be like a, a very very distant second place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like uh, I was gonna say, yeah, I, I, it's, <laughs> I I I can't say I'm too surprised about it because they were like. Uh, well, maybe I think it's just more of a surprise that something like that actually happened. No, yeah, it's surprising in that sense. Yeah. But like, is um, they've been toying around with it for a while. Like the the, the movie especially. Did the... Okay. But yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of cool though, because like, shows like that rarely ever commit to like a couple like that, especially the main character. Nice. Yeah, right. Oh, that's yeah. oh, that's what it is. That's kind of mean. <laughs> um. I don't know. How do you guys feel? Uh, how do you guys feel about like isekais as a concept? Like, I mean, I like, I mean, I like yeah. isekais just for just for, so, for silly, just to see what kind of silly shit to come up with. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and, I, then, I, and, I, then, I, and then, like, even when I take it to its like its logical conclusion, or like, uh, or or rather, its more logical extreme, like the later shit in slime. <laughs> I will yeah. take your word for it. I've only seen season one, so. Oh, shit, shit gets super real. Yeah. And that's kind of, that's saying quite a lot, because, like, like, there's been some crazy stuff already. <laughs> oh, no, it gets more crazy. Yeah. Um. So crazy, I'm not even going to tell you. Yeah, I'll say this. Like, I, like, Isekai has, like, we we have some of the, some of the uh, best anime from Isekai, but also some of the worst. <laughs> so it's like, there's. The sort of on my count. I, I guess. I guess you could count it. It's Isekai. Well, it's yeah. Isekai. Well, I mean, because you technically are going to a different world and all that. Kind yeah, of it's just it it's kind of... a different context because it's like, it's like, was it virtual reality? It's like the, yeah, it's a VR game. It's not their bodies themselves aren't going to a new world, but it's like close enough, I guess. I mean, especially more so in the first seat, especially more so in Sao itself. <laughs> Yeah, like when the when, uh, like after Aincrad or whatever, um, it feels a lot less like an isekai isekai kind of story because you know they can just come and go as they please. Well, I mean, cause like, like, well, I mean, cause like, as far as I know, the original like idea is like the whole like, oh, don't die in the game thing, or you die for good. Yeah, as far as I know, that doesn't happen every ever any ever bit. Yeah, I mean, they do other stuff to try and have tension, but it's like, never really the I think same. nothing comes that kind of close. <laughs> Not really, no. I, like, um, I, like, I, I, I think, well, at, at, 
I, I've watched I've watched as far as like um when there was like um a season where there was like a new where there was like an where there was like a new MMO involving guns and there was this one player who like and, and like and there was like this one antagonistic player who was like killing who who was like using his gun to kill players and then they just somehow die in real oh, life. Nice. And oh deep. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was really close. And like the way, and like the, uh, and like the, the the way he the way he was actually pulling that off was that he actually had someone on in, on the outside break into their house and kill them. Yeah, yeah, that, that, I I guess that's like one way to uh, bring bring the stakes back up. Um, well, I mean, yeah, like the idea of like of like mixing in like the real world elements with the with the with the uh, fantasy world bits. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. That's, and yeah. Yeah. Like, and even kind of adds, like a mystery, kind of like that one bit in the first, in, in Man SAO where it's like, oh, how are people killing in the safe zone? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's what. And like. Oh, you 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 finish you finish uh, first. And like, I was, oh yeah, I was gonna say and like um and like the reason why he was doing why he was doing that was because well like was was mainly because he was mainly because he was part of like he was part of like a faction. Uh, of like a faction in the in the first in the first SAO called Laughing Coffin that likes killing people for fun, and he basically just wanted to recreate to just do it again, but in a different again. setting. Yeah, I like yeah, that. I, I think Gun didn't Gungo have like a separate like spin-off like show. I don't uh, know. I haven't watched. Oh, them. I, I, I think I, I, I so. Know. I think so. That there was like, uh, like yeah. I think there was like a spin-off Gun Girl Online show that had nothing to do with the. Main cast. I think it's like, that. yeah, I think it's a completely different set of characters. I, like, I think I actually heard that one's actually okay. Yeah, I never hmm. watched it, but like, apparently it's decent. Hmm. Um. Yeah, that, that's what annoys to be about SAO because I, um, the, it has a lot of interesting like concepts, like uh, like the things we we've uh, been talking about, but the writing is just so subpar. It annoys the crap out of me. Yep. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, what, like, is Kirito still as? Here's a question in the later stuff. Is Kirito still as overpowered as he was in SAO? I don't know. He's kind of just overpowered when the when, nice. He's kind of overpowered when the plot <laughs> wants him to be. Like, I I keep I mention this every time, but like. Uh, Alicization, um, or whatever, like, at one point, he and, like, the, this other blonde character, like, I think it's, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, or something, yeah, um, they get, they, they get poisoned by these two girls at one point, and it's like, oh no, how are they gonna get out of this, and then, <laughs> Kirito just, <laughs> just like, ha, I, I wanted this to happen all along, you, you got pranked, bro, it's like, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> I, I don't remember exactly what the dialogue was, but it pr that's pretty much what it sounded like. It's like... What? It's just... You reacted like, what, you activated my trap card? No, it's like... No, he, he, you could see, like, Kirito was like, clearly weakened, and then, for no reason, just like, Oh yeah, I, I wanted you to do, to do that, because blah 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 blah, I win, lol. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I remember. You don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? I I've heard these phrases before, but I don't know what they mean. Uh, Zenkai Boot Dragon Ball. Um, oh, I see. No, I was like apparently, <laughs> when it's like, apparently the Saiyan is very close to it's dying, but they but they come back from it, they get stronger. Sounds about right. Which is also basically why Goku and Vegeta just keeps. Overpowering everybody at this point. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh... Yeah, it's the simplest. Way, it's the best way I can put it. Just them the reason why nobody can catch up. Uh, yeah, that checks out. Like well, man, the fact that nobody else, they don't give anybody a chance. <laughs> God. Uh. uh do you guys- do you think Futurama technically counts as an isekai? Um... I mean... yes. So in yes? Sense. Sonic X is an isekai? Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. Yeah, Sonic X is an isekai. Sonic X is an isekai. God. 
In fact, actually, technically, when you go into the Metarex saga, it's still off though in each time because Chris comes over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, wait. <laughs> that, oh god, that is kind of cursed. <laughs> Yeah, um, I know that, like, we all, we definitely know, like, the devil is a part-timer in Isekai. 100%. Oh, yeah, it's, like, opposite Isekai. Yeah, yeah, a reverse Isekai. Yeah. Like, going from fantasy oh. to real. Yeah. I, I do like it when it does the reverse. Okay. And, like, it's something, there's something fun about, like, characters, um, being, like, out of their element. Hmm. Right. A fish out of water. Exactly, yeah. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, like, like, literally just like, Satan. Like, S Satan, d king of the underworld. Every McDonald's employee of the month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'm trying to- God damn, I'm trying to think of our isekais now that I've seen. I mean, there's uh... like, the obvious ones for me, oh. like... I'm, well, for me, uh, oh, like, um... What, villainous for one thing, that's a good one for Oh, me. Villainous, yeah, I forgot that was, yeah. Oh, yeah. You started to watch season two. Us or you? Us. Oh, have you? I thought you, did you finish season two by yourself? Um, no, actually, but, because at this point, I'm just kind of saving it for us. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Cat face. I mean, <laughs> that, that's kind of the case with um, with Bochi as well. It's like, I watched like three episodes of that, and then he's just like, You're watching this without me? How dare you? <laughs> and then, and then I, I, and I was just like, Oh, okay, I guess I'll find something else then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can watch uh, I mean, you can, okay, you know what? You can, you can watch it on your own, but you have to promise to watch by a family. <laughs> I mean, that's also something I need to watch. I mean, yeah, I'm. I, I'm, I'm I'm yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine watching Bochi with you. I just, you know. Okay. You know, let let me know when you guys watch Spy X Family because I want it on this too. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and the thing, I'm still not even done with in Tab. I was gonna say we we still uh, oh, yeah. we still need to watch more of that. I don't remember where we where we stopped. I don't remember either. Yeah, me neither. That's how long it's been since we watched it. I don't remember the last episode we left off. <laughs> The last thing I, oh. can, I can more vividly remember is the avatar is going haywire or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I remember that one. I don't, yeah. know if that was the, I don't think that was the last thing we saw, but that was something I more vividly remember. I don't know how I did that, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, we take those. Business, yeah, as they say in the business, we take those. <laughs> uh, whatever, isekais, isekais. Uh, it's good. Yeah, it's like the obvious one's like ReZero, obviously. Uh... uh. What's up? Um, yeah, like... Oh, oh, I know one. Rising of the Shield Hero. Right. Oh, oh yeah. I, I've oh, never, oh, oh, I've never seen that. Oh, actually, that, that was really good. Well, my sister got me that manga for um, uh, Reborn as a Vending Machine. She actually also got me the first issue of Rising of the Shield Hero, but I haven't read it yet. Mm. Oh, it's it's good. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. I don't know if I want to. With the manga or the watch the anime first. Uh, there's there's Mos Moshoku Tensei, I guess. Um, Which one's a, that one? That's a word, uh, interesting one. It's like, uh, what is it? Guy gets like reborn as a baby, but he still retains his memories as like from his past life. Oh, I see. Uh, is is yeah. it? It's an interesting one. Uh, it has problems, but. Like, oh my god. Uh, I, I know for a fact, Scra <laughs> no, no Scrappy, he, he would he would hate the main character. Because <laughs> he's like a massive perv. Oh. <laughs> a grown ass adult being reincarnated as a guy who has to get breastfed. I mean, I think I think we can put two and two together there. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I like, like for reference, like, even I w like got like pretty eh over it. Like, it, it does make it a point to like, like yeah, like we like we know he's he's like a scumbag, and he's like he's called out for it, and it's not like it's not like uh, he's like he goes off scot free, but it's like I'm still not a huge fan of that aspect of the show. But you know, other than that, I think it's really good. It just keeps reminding me uh, in Tanya, it's just like cause Tanya's uh, is just trying to find like a uh, just trying just, just trying to settle in with an easy like no like no bit like no no like 
is completely safe white, but but God, who she calls a theory, uh, being X. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, being X. Yeah. Yeah. And just, just like, nope, can't let you have that. <laughs> yeah. Literally, and literally just treats it, and the world just treats it as, like, God's message. <laughs> yeah. And she's just like, <sighs> Yeah. It, it, and she knows. She knows it's him. <laughs> right. But, like, yeah, yeah. If you, if you can get over the pervy aspect of Mashoku, then I think it's a really good show. Uh, like, I, I thought the... I, I find the world building and the characters fascinating. Um, well, actually, now I think about it, now that you've seen, since you've seen Rizzo, you can probably handle Tanya pretty easily. He just probably. I mean, it's a war show. It's it's mostly it's it's primarily a war show. Oh, speaking of Isekais, I still need to watch Overlord. All right. Coffee.